today is the day. My 2021 Mach 1. We're here at the Horse Power Factory in Henderson, Tennessee. We're gonna put this thing on the rollers and see what we picked up. Let's make some power. Let's go. Let's see what this thing can put down. the all new G3 kit. CSS has been around as a company for a long time, but branching out now into the S550 Mustang. We've got FIC 1000 CC injectors. Right now we're on a BAP. And we also have a 120 millimeter pulley on 93 pump gas. This is also the straight cut gears. So over the past couple of videos, we put together like a really uh, fun, comprehensive video on the installation of everything and the whole layout and all that. So if you guys are interested, click on the cards above so you can check out the install, the first startup, all of that but we're gonna do this dyno see what kind of power we pick up and then get ready for the first drive so subscribe to the channel turn bell notification on guys show you around the kit there you go there you go looks good Daryl Wingard is tuning Wingard performance guys he's who I suggest with these kits and uh, really just any S550 Mustang or late bottle Mustang out there in general he is a mastermind genius at tuning yeah, all of his information is down below by the way is to include HBR they built this car so big shout out to everybody involved Yep. Here we go, first ball. Let's get it. Six fifty eight first hit. That's the one thing I like, go like, that's one thing about the trip I just stuck like, here. Pure linear. Yeah. Look at, look at the torque. Yeah. Flat. So it pulled about three degrees up top. So we're gonna send that log to Daryl, let him clean it up, take a look, and we'll do this again. Second hit, here we go. Torque, all SAE correct. Woo. Yes, dude, yes! Timing to add in about a degree at the very end. Say, say it one more time. We went from pulling three degrees of timing on the first run to adding about a degree on the second run with us. And the upper RPMs were about 17 to 16 degrees of timing. So, safe. So, yeah, it's, oh, yeah, it's safe, safe. I mean, it was adding to get there. Yeah. So, it was happy. Before we pulled three degrees of timing, we were around 13 degrees. With three degrees pull. Yeah. This time we added a little bit, so you're right around where you should be. 881 crank. 881. Wow. Jimmy said it almost made as much power as his Lexus. <laughs> <laughs> that is impressive. And how many pounds of boots you say that's supposed to be? About seven and a half to eight pounds somewhere in that ballpark. <laughs> it's a 120 millimeter pulley. This kid is crazy. This is a, this is a manual. Well, a lot of guys do the 10R80. This is a manual. You got to remember, there's a lot less loss in the manual than there is a 10R80. I did a video between a manual and a 6R80, and there was about 25, 30 horsepower right there. Yeah, so, yeah. A similar setup. That's freaking awesome. Even if the dyno is happy, I think it's still safe to say we're like 700. Well, I mean, the dyno is. I'll put it like this. My car put down 685. It was probably over seven, but I've seen cars go on this dyno, boosted, go yeah. on this dyno, and then go to another dyno and put down a hair more. A hair more? But I would say this dyno is right on pretty good. I trust it. But the main thing is we went from 460 to 735 on the same dyno. That's so crazy. So what did we pick up with the super truck? 74 horsepower. 274. Yeah, I don't know why I said 274 horsepower 
game from a few days ago with this G3 kit. It's amazing, guys. And we don't have headers on the car either. This is nuts. We're still stock exhaust minus the Corsa Double X, and that's with the G3 kit, this is the only modification to this lock one. It's nuts. Some people are gonna tear this apart on the internet. How do we come up with the calibration for this? It's all direct from Mustang. Okay. It's not, I can't manipulate it on this end at all. Okay, so we're not skewing numbers. None of this is hocus pocus fairy tale all stuff. The, all the atmosphere corrections are from the J box. Yep. It measures humidity and all that factors it in, temperature, everything. So okay. All. So all we really do is put in like the vehicle weight, tire size, right? Right. Yep. And the gear ratio. Gear ratio. Right. We're pulling into one to one gear. Yep. One to one. There's no trickery in here, I assure you. The idea behind all this is to be as honest as we can. You know, this is the first kit G3 on a Mach 1, and we want to tell the story and be as honest as possible. And that's why we wanted to get because different dynos show different numbers. Yeah. If we did not get a naturally aspirated pool, we don't know what this car made. Now, we don't know what we picked up. You can go, okay, this car put down this on the internet, this car put down this on the internet, so we picked up this, right? Yeah. So we might have, if we went off somebody's 420 number, we might have been like, oh man, we picked up 290 horsepower. Even if, it, even if we did 420 the other day or 430, yeah. we're still at 700. Yes. But the main thing here is we did 460 the other day, yeah, and we did 735, 461, and then 735 today. So we picked up 274 horsepower with this supercharger kit. That's freaking nuts. That's dude. the reason we wanted. We I wanted this car on the dyno before and after. This is my first ESS kit. I wanted to see what the supercharger picks up. Yeah, so guys. The only way to do that is put it on the dyno. Put the kit on, bring it back to the same dyno, and run it again. 735. That just goes to horse gain on well, seven and a half pounds. Yeah, the, that's crazy. Retarded. Well, and the main thing, <laughs> and the main point of this too is people like you know people like my car feels lazy a lot of times. I'm like it's probably pulling put, timing put because you look, we went from 658. <laughs> we went from 658 horsepower to 735. Pulling three degrees of timing and adding one degree. So there's four degrees of timing right there. So within four degrees of timing, that's the horsepower that we added to the That's car. freaking nuts, dude. We picked up right at 80 horsepower. On four degrees of timing. On four degrees of timing. So people, th you know, when you pull that little bit of timing, it does pull your power on boosted car. Oh, yeah. So we're going to get this to Daryl, and we're going to see what the man says. All right. So guys, go over to uh, ESStuning.com. Let him know that you saw this video, and let him know that I sent you for a good deal. Talk to Brevin over there. He's my go-to. But um, I am thoroughly impressed with this kit so far. And I know the guys at HPR, Ken and Chris back here, really loved the install. What are your thoughts? I mean, Dude, I'm, I'm a huge fan. Yeah. I mean, like... I was wanting to get my hands on a, on this kit, and you said you was getting one. I was like, perfect. What are your thoughts, Chris? I like it. It's freaking saucy. Well, I mean, a Vortec. We had a Vortec. How much that Vortec put down, Chris? Six thirty. Six thirty. One tuned that car, and they even said that it should it should have been six seventy ish, and it put down what six thirty ish. So, yeah. Let's take another look at it. So, here's your head unit here. I think it's not even that hot. And just keep my hands on it but 120 millimeter pulley which is what they recommended to be safe on 93 pump gas and then we have fic 1000 cc injectors and then we're using the stock pump with a lethal performance booster pump and then this is their straight cut gear option and the big difference between this kit versus some of the others for the mach 1 is it's basically a gt350 kit uh, because we have the coolers and everything down here so the routing is pretty much the same just a couple odd and ends again 735 520 and then revved out to about 77 right there 7700 rpm fighter jet gray sounds like a fighter jet now and by the way guys if you are unfamiliar this is ken from hpr he runs hpr hilliard performance and racing located in henderson tennessee links down below go check them out all they do is build stuff just like this we've had cars from 15 states so far the yeah. furthest is New Mexico and Albuquerque, I mean Albuquerque, New Mexico and Rochester, New York. He, he literally has people from around the country bringing the cars to him because of the build process, the customer service and everything that's involved. So I appreciate all of their hard work and big shout out to everybody that had their hands on this build, HPR, Daryl Winger tuning this monster, this, yeah. ESS, the supercharger company itself, Boundary Oil Pump Gears, Lethal Performance. We got the RTD from Beefcake. 
and uh, Corsa. We got to give it up to Corsa. It's a monster. Horsepower factory. We couldn't be doing it without Horsepower factory. Right. They, do all, the, they do all the dyno for yep, us. Yeah, they do all the dyno stuff. So come check them out. Now I've had a couple people pull cars off of this and take it to a dyno jet and put down more numbers, put down higher numbers. So if that tells you anything. Yep, no trickery. This is just an honest, a couple honest pulls. So again, if you're looking for a supercharger kit, I think that this might be the one. And uh, now I'm excited to get it on the road and give you guys a first drive. And my thoughts, now that we have 735 horsepower, which is really what I wanted. I wanted about 680 to 700. I'm happy that we got higher than that. But uh, as a daily driver, I didn't really want to upset also the balance of the Mach 1 because I do want to road race the car and all that. So uh, I, I, I could not be more impressed, honestly. Turn the fan off. That is with the wheel uh, drivetrain loss calculation enabled. Oh, yes. Now it made 735 521, which is the exact same number as it made boosted uncorrected. Right. So that kind of proves that it, that it made 735. Right. Yep. That's freaking well, nasty. Oh, you only went to 200 <laughs> RPM lower. <laughs> Why is it where it, 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 it went in the cat? Oh, yeah, we went to eight, okay. Yeah, it went in the cat over temper protection right above that, so it kind of. Cat over temper? It, 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 it would have made more than that. It would have made more than 735 if it hadn't went in the seal, too. Yeah, it was the seal. Cat over temper? Yeah, protection, so. You can't turn that off. Right, no. Turn that off, that's how you get melted cat like converters. No, we got to keep, yeah, keeping everything safe, so. 735, back to back. Sick. Oh, you said the same timing was that? Yeah, 0. 0.7 degrees, might say one degree. Yeah. If Ken's impressed, I'm impressed. Guys, that's the video. We have 735 horsepower from our G3 supercharger kit from ESS Tuning. Guys, go check them out and let them know that I sent you. But uh, yeah, this is a promising kit. This is so nasty, dude. So we're gonna make so much content with this. We're gonna be racing it. We're gonna be road coursing it. We're gonna be having fun with it. Get ready for the content coming up. So subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, God bless.